This season, the National Hockey League will continue to enforce discipline on blindside and lateral hits that make principal point of contact with the head. This rule is now deemed an illegal check to the head. The league will also continue to enforce its current standard of illegal head contact and other supplementary discipline outlined in this video. Illegal check to the head. A lateral or blindside hit to an opponent where the head is targeted and or the principal point of contact is not permitted. There is no minor penalty for this rule. In violation of an illegal check to the head, an automatic game misconduct and major or match penalty shall be given. A player will also face possible supplementary discipline. In this example, the player here comes from the blind side and makes principal point of contact with his opponent's head. This is an illegal check to the head. Well, right side of your screen, there's the release by Savard and then uh, the left shoulder. And in this example, the shoulder makes principal point of contact with the head from the blind side. The player administering the hit bears total responsibility to avoid making contact with his opponent's head. Right in the head. The shoulder to the head. The player here comes laterally from the blind side and hits his opponent in the head. The player delivering the hit has to avoid making contact with the head on this play. Players run the risk of a major or match penalty, game misconduct and or possible suspension when delivering a lateral or blindside hit to an opponent's head as seen here. The player delivering this hit from the side has to avoid contact with his opponent's head. This hit has to be made through the body and must avoid principal contact with the head. On this play, as in the other examples, the player administering the hit makes principal point of contact with the head and is delivered laterally from the blind side, which is an illegal check to the head. This is an example of a good north-south hit, where the responsibility lies still with the player being hit. Here are other examples of a legal hit from the side where the hit is delivered shoulder to shoulder. The principal point of contact of these hits is to the shoulder. Here is an example of a legal shoulder check to the head where the player skating north-south with the puck has to be aware of where he is and who is on the ice. Pronger steps up, he's down, he doesn't jump. Hits to the head through illegal actions such as elbowing, high sticking, charging, boarding, and other illegal acts will continue to be penalized within the existing standard and subject to the on-ice penalties and supplementary discipline. An illegal low hit is a check that is delivered by a player with the sole intent to check the opponent in the area of his knees. A player may not lower his body position to deliver checks such as these and could be subject to on-ice penalties and supplementary discipline. Here's the hit, so Koliakimo, oh boy, Ott does get a little low right there, but then he pushes up, so down goes Koliakimo. Here for Los Angeles. Here's Chimera, right wing. Poke check there, Scuderi with a hip check. A better look at it from that angle. Oh, and look at how low that is. That's below the knee. A hip check to the midsection of an opponent such as this is legal. And look at Drew Downey. He's not going knees, he's hip on hip. And to me, that's the art of the hip check. Any unnecessary contact with a player playing the puck on an obvious icing that results in the player being knocked into the boards shall be called as boarding or tripping. Players must avoid any type of physical contact on icings. A player runs the risk of an on-ice penalty as well as possible supplementary discipline when making contact on these plays. Close the ball, chased by Niedermeyer, and the whistle. That should, that should be a penalty. A misconduct or game misconduct penalty and possible supplementary discipline 
shall be imposed on any player involved in fighting off the playing surface or with another player who is off of the playing surface. Any teams whose players become involved in an altercation other than during the periods of the game could be fined $25,000 and risk possible supplementary discipline. Any identifiable player who uses obscene, profane, or abusive language or gestures directed at any person runs the risk of an unsportsmanlike penalty and possible supplementary discipline. On behalf of the National Hockey League and Hockey Operations Department, good luck to everyone in the 2010-2011 NHL season.